Er. Hey everybody, it's Kevin from uh, Kevin's Northern Outdoors. Uh, another name change for me, I guess. <laughs> I can't seem to to uh, make up my mind on uh, a good YouTube uh, name. But uh, yeah, I guess I apologize for not having any content for the last uh, you know five six months or whatever the heck it was. Uh, been a long winter and there just there's just uh, there wasn't nothing to film and I just didn't want to video anything just to get content out there um, I wanted it to be interesting um, so I didn't do anything and then YouTube yesterday reminded me that uh, hey we haven't heard from you in a while how come you haven't produced any content blah 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 so uh, today is supposed to be a nicer day out central Wisconsin it's uh I don't know, March 9th or something like that. We haven't had snow on the ground for quite some time. It has been a really mild winter f for the most part. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's still been boring. There's just not been a lot to do. You can't, I, I don't, I'm not much for ice fishing anymore, so I don't do that. Boats put away for the winter. Um, no hunting or anything like that. So, uh, like it, like I said, there wasn't anything uh, to really video. But this spring, I, there was a couple of things that I wanted to do. Um, number one, I wanted to show off. I got a uh, a new boat cover for my uh, a 1654 uh, Tracker um, Sportsman, and uh, so I wanted to show that off to you. I, it weathered the winter nice. It's been on my boat for about five months, so I wanted to show that off to you today. Um, in uh, coming episodes, uh, got a couple of things uh, coming up. Uh, number, uh, second thing I'm going to be doing, uh, replacing the prop of my boat. Uh, got dinged up pretty good this fall from uh, duck hunting. And uh, this is my third prop in three years. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a rite of passage for me, apparently. Um, this year, I think I'm going to go and buy a stainless steel prop and see how that survives. But, um, so that's gonna be another uh, episode real quick. I mean, these are gonna be really quick uh, videos. Um, another video, I bought a, uh, uh, I bought another Humminbird, a 10 inch screen Helix, and I'm gonna be installing that. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a video installing that as well. As soon as it gets nice out, I'll be installing it. I got it sitting on the boat right now, but uh, I haven't wired it or anything. Um, it's my last accessory on my boat because uh, I got that Ethernet switch and it that that unit fills it all up. So uh, that's going to be pretty much dedicated to my Mega Live. Um, you know, since it's on on this side of the boat, um, you know, when I, I fish off this side generally, and uh, when I'm fishing, I was always having to turn my head and look back at the screen when my Mega Live is sitting right right here. So it, it's a lot easier to fish and look down at the screen and right in front of me and uh, and see what's going on and use the Mega Live right there. So that'll that'll actually be uh, something very, very useful for me um, going forward. Uh, also, uh, for those of you who have followed me for a long, long time, um, you'll know, I don't know, it was nine years ago or so, I had bought a Lang smoker uh, cooker. It was a pit um, on a trailer. And uh, I had quite a few videos out uh, smoking barbecue. And I loved that thing. I mean, I'm here to tell you I loved uh, smoking barbecue. And uh, uh, I can't even remember what year it was. Um, my business wasn't doing too good in the, in the winter. And uh, you know, sometimes you gotta make those tough decisions. And I had to, um, I had to sell my smoker just pay my mortgage payment uh, make my mortgage payment and uh, that broke my heart it really did and then you know I call it you know one of the uh, biggest regrets I've ever had but you know the regret would have been losing my house so I you, you don't want to ever do that so um, I figured down the line you know I'll uh, I'll get another one well um, you know it took a while uh, for me to uh, so I bought the boat so I ended up spending money on that and uh, and then I, I downsized on my beekeeping, so I'm not spending money there. And, uh, and the spring, I just, I don't know what it was. I just got a bug. 
and um, I miss cooking barbecue. I just, I just do. Now, I, the big pit, and it's just me, and you know, I, it's kind of oversized for what I need it for, but uh, it was so fun, and, and I, I could still take it to events and cook for the events, high school graduations for family, or, or uh, you know, my dog club uh, has their hunt tests and stuff like that, whatever it is. Um, I still like to do that on occasion. I don't really want to uh, cater or anything, but you know what? I'm getting up there a little bit, and uh, you know, when I decide to slow down from work, uh, I might want to, you know, have this handy so that I can make a, a little cash on the side, um, you know, cooking barbecues on the weekends for people uh, for their events. Uh, it's not the biggest smoker in the world, so you know it can't be too big of a, an event. But you know, what the hell? Uh, uh, I might give it a, give it a try and see if uh, if I can do that. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Uh, getting back, and I'll do some uh, some barbecue videos on my new Lang uh, smoker. Uh, I had a 36 stretch before, and I didn't get one a whole lot bigger. I just can't. I just couldn't afford it. Um, so I bought I bought one slightly bigger. I had the 36 stretch before, and this one's just a 48. Um, it's a 48 Deluxe. Uh, it's got a bigger barrel to it. I can smoke a, a you know, maybe 10 pounds more meat on it, uh, but it also has the warmer box on it. And I'll show all that off to you. I'll do a lot of videos on it. Um, just want to get back to it. Matter of fact, I just went out and bought all new spices uh, so I can make up, mix up my uh, barbecue rubs and my sauces and all that good stuff. Can't wait to get uh, into that. So, but in today's video, um, and then also, also it's springtime, so I'm going to be also getting out into the lake um, fishing um, shortly. Uh, opening season for my lake up north is May, um, but I'm thinking about going to the river. I was going to go today, but it is windy and cold and i just don't want to go out there when it's windy and cold i mean really windy matter of fact my camera is bouncing up and down there on the cover here and and i'm waiting for it to go flying but it's it's just too windy to go fishing today so but i wanted to show you this um show this off to you now this isn't for everybody uh let me see here okay so this is my custom cover I had made for my 1654 uh, Grizzly Tracker. Um, and again, like I said, it, it's custom. I got it done at a shop, uh, a local shop uh, that, you know, they do this for a living. And uh, and it wasn't for the faint of heart for, for price-wise, but um, I waited to get this uh, till last fall because I wanted all my accessories installed on here, trolling motor, bo boat seats, you know, what I was gonna have, my uh, um, depth finders, whatever I wanted to have on the boat so that everything fit to form around it. Um, but uh, this is it, and, and you can kind of see here, this is my trolling motor sitting here. Um, the prop is, is literally right here, runs along, my head is here. They've got it stitched, you know, anywhere where there's protrusions so that it uh, doesn't rip through. Now, I, you know, I got an expensive boat here and I didn't want to spend, you know, 50 bucks on a, on a tarp or a, uh, you know, a fleet farm uh, cover for it that's just going to deteriorate in a year. Um, now, I got this parked underneath my overhang here, um, but... Uh, you know, it's not really meant to stack up snow on it, so you got to clear snow off uh, every now and then. But uh, this is also ratchet strapped here, and you can see how it's integrated. The ratchet strap is integrated. It, it forms around the edge, all around the edge, pulls in here, and uh, they've got a little link linkage that they attached to my uh, motor mount, and they've got it connected to that. So. Um, so just a little loose right now, but uh, and then there's one snap on each side of the motor, and this basically just you know as water runs off, this is like a little curb, 
and uh, water will run off, hit this little curb, and drop down and go off there. Uh, you can see there's two vents on top. There's one here and one there, and that corresponds to poles that they that this uh, comes with uh, that sit on the floor of my boat. But uh, you can take a look at how this, you know, is custom to my boat. Now, again, the, the price point, um, you know, it's uh, not for the faint of heart. I think this I ended up costing me somewhere around $900 for this, uh, this custom cover. But it, it will do the trick. And again, it's not, not much to it, but, uh, you know, you want to protect your investment. Uh, on each side, there are straps here just to hold it down taut with buckles. And uh, pop that off. Okay, so, okay, let's loosen that up a bit, and then we'll take a look on the inside here. That's my new humming bird, actually, right there. But uh, I'm not going to pull this off completely, but you can kind of see how the poles sit. They just sit right on the ground. And it also, he wanted, you know, he wanted to know where I wanted my seats so that they everything conformed. So I set my seats up so that it actually helps. Uh, keep the tarp, keep the cover uh, up a little bit. Uh, I, I usually run a seat in the front, but for, uh, you know, trailering, you know, I run the seat back here, and uh, this really worked out really well. But it keeps everything nice and high and dry for the winter, and for, you know, trailering down the road. I've had my batteries plugged in all winter, uh, but the boat is completely, you know, dry for the most part here. And again, this is the snap right there for it. Um, you can see he installed that in there. Uh, I have yet to take this off and uh, see how easy it is to, you know, fold it up, put it away, whatever that's going to take or entail. Uh, so, you know, we'll see if that's going to be any kind of a pain or not. But yeah, uh, for 900 bucks to protect an investment, you know, you, you, you spend a lot, so, so much money on these things. Um, just makes sense. Uh, that and when you're trailering down the road, you stop off at a gas station, you go inside, you know, to use the restroom or whatever, and uh, you know, your, all your fishing equipment's in there. So easy for somebody to reach in and, and grab, um, you know, a rod, tackle box, quick tackle box, whatever. And uh, this is also a deterrent, um, you know, for uh, somebody to just really quick reach in and grab grab your stuff out of your boat when you're not. When you're not paying attention or you're not around um, you know for long-term storage I wouldn't store any of my um, rods and stuff you know if unless it's at my own house which this is but uh, well anyways let me know what you think in the comments uh, again you know not for the faint of heart but you know what if you uh, you spent some good money on, on, on your boat uh, and I don't care what kind of boat it is whether it's a, uh, a flat bottom John boat or a, or a V hull or a runabout doesn't matter um, you know uh, buying a buying a cover is uh, is probably the best thing you should you should do um, not to mention in the fall you know something like this will really keep the leaves out of your boat um, especially if you're in an area with just a ton of leaves, you know, you could throw it on real quick. You don't even have to buckle it up. 
even if it's out on the lake you can just throw it on real quick so again leave a message in the comments let me know what you think and um, go out and enjoy the great outdoors take care